continue so here we see the growth of hairs on the body not the mustache and beards growth of hairs in uh, underarm and in the genital areas so these are the various changes observed here in case of males the onset of production of male gametes takes place in the testis similarly in females also the female reproductive cells are produced released actually in case of females by birth they will be having number of female cells in their ovaries but at this age by the at the time of sexual maturity these reproductive cells mature and they are released the release of ova is initiated by some kind of process called as menstruation so the onset of menstruation is an indication it shows that the egg cells are released in the females menstruation starts in the girls so these are the changes all these changes do not happen at a single time in a single person these changes may happen slowly take some months so you are aware of the changes that are happening in your bodies sometimes at this age the people are worried tensed some of the adolescents when they find some pimples they are tensed and worried they feel that something happens to their body some people when they see that the beards are grown they are they feel shy they cannot go and play with other other, other children some people they are worried why the beards are not grown they may feel that they have some problem in that in their bodies it is because these events are based on hormones hormones are controlled by our genes so it, it will not happen similarly for all the people it is different for different people depends upon the production of hormone in their body it depends upon the genes that are present in their body and of their parents some people will have very thin hair on their face even some people will have very less beard less number of hairs some people will have very thick beard very stiff hairs very uh, thick mustache some people may have very less so it is not a problem it doesn't mean that the sexual maturity is not being attained so here the people those who are in adolescent stage they need not worry about all the changes here so all these changes are given in your books they are brought to your notice that is to remove the ambiguity in your minds because you may be gathering such information from your friends which is very confusing and not appropriate so you will be having fault faulty assumptions wrong assumptions about your growth patterns so that is the reason why this adolescent education and these concepts are given in your books that is to make you aware of your body the changes that takes place in your body so all these changes are very natural so one need not worry about the changes okay these changes are not happened to me and one need not worry oh all these changes are happened to my body my body is changed so you need not worry this is a very natural thing which happens because your body is attaining sexual maturity your body is attaining it doesn't mean that you have not completely attained the sexual maturity a girl who is able to menstruate and produce egg cells very soon she cannot participate in reproduction it will adversely affect her health physically as well as mentally so it needs some time for the complete maturation of our systems so it is the onset starting of the sexual maturation your body must be completely grown up your mind also must be completely grown up that is to for the production of babies that is to reproduce so here the reproductive cells are produced male reproductive uh, cells by male male cells you call it as sperm cells and female reproductive uh, female produce female reproductive cells called as ova or egg cells so these cells are to be transferred fusion should takes place for reproduction where the fusion takes place 
in case of some animals the fusion takes place in the environment like in frogs male frog and female frog releases their cells into the water and in the water the male cell fuses with female and egg is formed in the water but in most of the cases higher animals including human beings fertilization takes place in the body of female it takes place in the body of female so the sperm it has to be transferred to the female's body and inside the female reproductive system in the female reproductive system the fusion of male and female gamete takes place and the formation of zygote takes place in the female reproductive system so that is in the body of the female so there are su such arrangements by which in sexual reproduction in humans the male and female join together the male passes the sperm cells into the body of the female the organs are developed in such a way so when when this is done the formation of the zygote takes place in the female body there are such arrangements there are such organs that is to accommodate this zygote in the female reproductive system till this zygote develops into a baby so that the whole process is called as pregnancy so the female body is designed in such a way that it can accommodate the zygote from a very small single cell zygote to a completely grown up baby till then for the period of gestation 9 months the zygote till it is developed into completely a baby the baby is accommodated inside the mother's womb such kind of arrangements are done there to provide all the nutrient water oxygen everything to the baby whatever is needed for the growth of the baby so such kind of arrangements are done in the female body so in this way the organs the systems the hormones are designed in such a way that in human sexual reproduction the male sex cells or the sperm cells are passed to the female body to the female reproductive system and inside the system the fusion takes place and there is a chance of fertilization if the fertilization takes place if the male gamete fuses with the female gamete it leads to pregnancy and the it forms a zygote and the zygote develops to a baby if there is no fertilization takes place then the egg cell is flushed out released out that is during a process of the um, menstruation if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus